Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to get your podcast or anything else conforming to the right loudness standard with an excellent plugin. In this video, I will demonstrate the FabFilter Pro L2 plugin for meeting loudness standards. FabFilter are a part of the awesome audio giveaway during this summer of sound. If you'd like to win this plugin and a whole load more audio gear and goodies worth nearly $10,000, go to mrc.fm slash giveaway. That's mrc.fm slash giveaway. Now here we are in Adobe Audition, and I've got a bit of a podcast, the Adobe Audition podcast I've been working on, and I'm going to load in from effects, my audio units here. It could be a VST as well if you're on PC, the FabFilter Pro L2. There it is. Now, um, I was not a user of the Pro L, the original version, but uh, it has had a few nice upgrades. If you have transferred over, then you might notice them. Uh, for instance, I like the fact you can maximize this, taking away distraction from your audio editor. But I'm just going to leave it uh, in this view and take you through how some of this is working. So first of all, gain down to zero. And we've got the podcast here in normal window and preview window so you can see if anything is changing with the audio as I alter it. Let's play some audio. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. Okay, what a fantastic interface this has. I really like the way the waveform uh, is appearing there and all the information like the loudness. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. Honoring So you see there it's painting on a yellow line which is where the LU FS is going to minus 19 dB at the moment. Now for podcasting, we want to be hitting minus 16 dB. That's why earlier I clicked custom and typed in minus 16. They do have some handy presets over here like minus nine for the CD, uh, minus 14 for streaming, YouTube, etc. And if you're working in TV and broadcast standards, you might be aiming for the EBU R128, which is minus 23 LUFs, but I'm sticking with minus 16. Uh, and you can see as you play back, uh, short term is where we want to go so we can see in the short term what the LUFS readout is. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. Honoring Yeah, so we're about tickling minus 19 at the moment. Now, if you want to make this even simpler, if you're trying to master your podcast to get it sound exactly right and hit the correct loudness standard, you might want to just flip down this little thing over here and instead of go for absolute, you might want to switch it to relative and what that's going to do is make zero your target level rather than minus 16. Very handy to know that all you have to do is now hit zero. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition. So you can see we're about minus 2.7 under uh, the target that we need to be to make our podcast conform to the correct loudness standard for upload to our podcast host and distribution to places like iTunes and Stitcher, uh, Spotify and elsewhere. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to turn the gain up, but not only, and by the way, when I hover over something, this is another great thing about FabFilter plugins, you get a interactive help guide telling you what each part of the plugin does if you're unsure. Um, you can actually go down to the uh, output here and you can enable one-to-one -one mode, which means when this is enabled, when I turn the gain up, it's not going to get super loud. It's going to keep it at a consistent volume so we can actually hear uh, what True Peak limiting is doing, uh, i.e. reducing the volume of the audio or just clipping any peaks that are coming. So let's have a go at turning the gain up and trying to hit the loudness standard of zero, as you can see right here. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. Okay, you can see as I've just turned the gain up plus 3.7, we're just hitting over where we want to go. I'm actually going to turn this back to absolute so you can see that I'm aiming for minus 16 here. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. Honoring 25 years of Adobe Audition, in this series of 25 episodes, I will interview power users of this awesome audio editing software. Okay, we look to be hitting a pretty good place there now. Back to relative, so I can see that I'm hitting just below and no pluses. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. Honoring 25 years of Adobe Audition, in this series of 25 episodes, I will interview power users of Yep, that is looking pretty perfect now, just about close enough to a minus 16. I might just push that up a little bit, uh, but that is looking 
pretty good. So that's how you can use this. Now there are different uh, displays here, uh, like for instance you've seen this wonderful scrolling waveform, but you can change the view. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. So this one will just scroll along instead of starting a new page. You've also got slow motion, which is pretty cool. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative and welcome to the Adobe Audition podcast. As you can see, that slowed things down quite considerably. Or you can click this one. Hey, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Radio Creative, and this is actually an infinite display, so this will keep on filling up the screen and making it smaller and smaller and smaller, so you can really check over time that you're hitting your loudness standard of minus 16 there. And that's looking absolutely fantastic. So that is how you would use the FabFilter Pro L2 uh, to hit the correct loudness standard of minus 16 there uh, for your podcast episode. And as you can see in the preview window, it hasn't really affected things. It's had no peaks to a limit at all in this instance. So everything is fine. Once we're happy with the settings here, we can just apply. Uh, this is a great podcast, fully interactive, nice, smooth um, interface. It's obviously retina already. It looks beautiful. Uh, I'm really happy using this plugin uh, to make my podcast uh, sound great in the final stage. Just to show you how it would work on music, this is music that's already been mastered, but we could certainly try and hit that loudness standard of, say, minus 16 if we wanted to use this as our podcast intro. So let's go back into effects, audio units, back to Fab Filter, the Pro L2 here. And uh, we'll set everything back to the default settings here. Notice when you're in the default view here, it's uh, got the minus 48 dB setting selected. You'll want to go back to loudness to enable these wonderful loudness meters here, uh, which really help. So let's have a listen to this. Notice we've got a minus 14 for streaming now. I'm just going to set that back to minus 16 again and play back. <laughs> So that's actually pretty good. It's already at minus 16 luffs, as we can see there. Beautiful. I do want to show you finally, before I conclude this little tutorial, how the true peak limiting really works when it kicks in and how the advanced controls work over here. So let's do that. Let's play this audio back. I'm going to ride the gain right up, uh, leaving on that one-to-one -one kind of unity setting so that we're not blasting your ears out when I turn the gain up. You can actually hear how the limiting works as opposed to uh, the, the audio just simply getting louder. It's, it's easier to hear the bite of the limiter uh, with the one-to-one -one setting there, which is great. Uh, so, playback, and let's turn the game right up, and you'll see the limiting kicking in when you see red bits at the top. Okay, at this point I'm just turning this down, you can actually see it starting to bite quite nicely, and the further I turn this up, that's got a real kick there, and you can really hear it whacking in there as the music kicks in further and further. It's going in and kicking in uh, and then turning it back down because that's obviously way too much true peak limiting. Now this is just a, a little bit of, of true peak limiting going on and it's lovely the way that it's it's picking up and marking off the, the dB there that it's, uh, it's pulling the audio down by, which is fantastic. So a really good display. Uh, and you can see here in the preview window how it's uh, crushing that audio down. Can you see that? Very nice indeed. So I'm going to play back now and play with the advanced controls. It's got some nice styles here. Modern style. Uh, you can go for transparent, punchy. We'll just uh, skip through a few of these here, how they sound. Let's turn this up and have a listen to the difference. So this is modern. Then we've got punchy. We'll go for aggressive. That's actually got a real nice kind of whack to it. I really like that. And another final thing that I will show you in the Pro L2 is that you can go into the headphones icon here and you can hear just what the True Peak limiter is doing. So let's click that, enable that, and listen to how it sounds now. And you'll see actually in the preview, it's just showing you the bits that are being limited. So you'll hear that little crackle. And what you might want to do is just change the attack and release until you can hear more of the music breaking through. Or of course you can go for the presets here. That's punchy. That's punchy has got a real nice sound to it. Dynamic. Distorty. Transparent. Safe. So we'll go for punchy, oh, so not transparent, punchy, switch that off, uh, go back, switch the headphones off and listen to this. 
and we can apply and there you go it's been true peak limited uh absolutely fantastic i am really really happy with the fab filter pro l2 plugin and you could be too if you win it in our awesome audio gear giveaway just head along now to mrc.fm slash giveaway for your chance to win uh, this fab filter plugin and many more exciting audio gear and equipment during our summer of sound that's mrc.fm slash giveaway We'll be right back.